That helps if you actually set the scene, huh? It definitely helps if I set the scene. Check that out. I'll make sure you guys are seeing what I'm seeing. If you're not seeing what I'm seeing, what's the point? Um, looking at where we're at, the Megalodon seems okay for the island cycling, getting something back. I do like the reanimation slash kill spell. Instant speed at five. Spawn Hunter seems okay. I don't really want to be going three colors where we're at already. Glimmer Heart seems okay. So. Well, this Anthropede has been pretty cool in picking up with all the playable rooms that people get. Being able to take care of a problematic room when it enters is nice. But I do think we're going to Megalodon here. Um, Watchdog is a very good pickup. Vanish from Sight would be pretty decent. Midnight Mayhem, The Ripper, The Abduction. These, these are all playable cards for sure. Well, knowing where we're at, I think we just want to pick up a Manifest in Dread. I think Enter the Enigma can be a pretty decent win condition. Just get a big beater in, you know, the Overlord, something. Push for that final bit of damage. He's tapped, put a 1 1 counter on a creature. I'm not getting a whole lot of the tap stuff. I don't really like the strength, even as a combat trick at instant speed. The researcher is also just kind of a meh pick. So, anything we pick, we're really not playing. I'm just going to take an uncommon. And Voros is is going around, and I, I'm I'm given the same two cards for my deck. And again, I don't think we want to be playing any of that, so we're just gonna take an uncommon. Um, this one is a playable card, being able to mana fix, and it gives me. A 5-5 five, five for 6 with the Manifest Dread, potentially flipping creature. That's, that's playable. That's a good pickup for us. We will be wanting to play that more as a 3-drop than anything. Uh, Twist Reality could be okay. Counterspell. This is more a survivor thing. I think we're going to take the Centipede with the Delirium. We're kind of wanting to feed the graveyard a little bit. Bashful Bestie actually fits the deck, even if it's just a beater that draws a card. We've got some decent manifest stuff. I don't know, we might not end up with the Overlord. He's going to enable Delirium big time. I mean, this is just going to be a 4-4 four, four that if we can tap will gain us some life. And we might play it. I doubt it, but we'll see. Um, 
just gonna take the uncommon here. Hey, the Enigma, we'd play that, even if it's just one. Dogavoth's Lair allows us to mana fix, it's pretty decent. Can fear of imposters, encounter something and have them manifest instead, that could be pretty decent. Getting a second main phase if he's tapped. Put that card in your hand, rest on that. Well, that's not necessarily what we're looking for here. Like fear of imposters. Dogavoth's lair. Enters tapped is an enchantment land. It's hex proof. Uh, we want we want fear of imposters. Ooh, Kaito. This is splashable. So our person to the left must not even be close to black blue. I mean, I'm going to pick Kaito up here. Let's see what Soul Tie starts to look like. In a bowl of noodles. Uh, Chandelier looks better and better with all the things we'll be throwing away. Being able to put them back in the deck will be nice. There, there's a Swamp Cycling. We can, we can immediately get the swamp fixing what's this the survivor do i would like to read that card please and thank you beginning my second main phase if he's tapped put three one counters on a land i control it becomes an elemental creature in addition to its other types and gains haste i mean that could have been really good with the valgavoss slayer making just a big hex proof land if you can keep tapping that guy down but i do think i'm gonna get the the mana fixer here and keep that open for Kaito. Um, Surveyor is really good here. I don't know that we need to pick up two of these guys. It's one of the best removals in the format. This 2 2 is going to be amazing for our deck. I think the Cursed Windbreaker is what we want though. As you control have a tap for a mana of any color, when you unlock this door, mill four cards, return up to two permanent modern cards from among them to your hand. Dang. This thing seems really good too. Hopefully that will wheel. I doubt it. Do I want that more than manifest flying? I don't think I do. We want to take some blue. Oh, I, I would have been rewarded by going and taking that. That's that's a shame. This is Jolly Balloon Man. Unfortunately, we're not close to playing him. I was seeing a late rotunda like this. This card is insane in this format. Um, I'm going to pick up some removal for us, though. That's That's what we're looking for. from sight I think is the best card in the pack for us yeah so we're gonna pick up vanish from sight um, probably the surveyor here uh, he's tapped tell I reveal a land I think we want the counter spell. Counter spell. Don't really want anything here, so I'm gonna take the uncommon. Um, I think the 
Glimmer Burst is the best card for us here. Don't want any of this. So for the collection, we don't want. Eh, we might play a chandelier. And we would have gotten the cursed one breaker. Anyway, huh? Two of them? I don't know that I want two of them. I think one is enough. Whenever an enchantment controlled you enters. So making glimmer now brings a 3-1 with flying. That's crazy good. I don't really like this at all. I uh, don't really want to commune with evil. Another under the skin would be great. Meat Locker is going to be good. We kind of want the land. We've already got the one gem. Yeah, I think we're going to take under the skin here. Armor, bottomless pool. Oh man, I could do the filed thing. I just don't really have a whole lot of ways to get things back right now. Right now it's just under the skin. Nothing else actually brings back out of the graveyard right now. This feeds delirium. Alright, well this will speed itself and help giving me another thing to get out of the grave, but that's really what I'm looking for right now. Yeah, like this. Let me shuffle up the four target cards from my graveyard into my library. That's amazing. Uh, the brood spinner here would be really good too. And now I want to recur just a little bit with this stack. I think with what we've got going. Turn on the permits, manifest dread. That's great. When well, I want to get the mana fixing while it's going around. And one of these would have been great to have all three. The manifest dread is really good here. We're just going to take the land though. Back, man. So many good late cards, just not in our colors. Unearning Grasp seems okay. This thing is amazing. Threats around every corner is amazing. That's going to help mana fix so much. How did we get this so late? So whenever we manifest dread, we go mana ramp. Oh, there's more mana fixing for our soul tie deck. Heck yes, that seems so good, so late. I don't think we're gonna play the crack skull. Well, I go for the uh, the set collection. Gem, or do I just go with the mana fixing? I think I'm just gonna take the mana fixing. The one gem is enough. Uh, it's a vanish. Do we want to play this room? Nope, I'm gonna take the little insect, the 2 2 death touch, give death touch on attack seems really good. Well, I got what I wanted, I got one of each. I think I'm gonna play you. All right, well, there's definitely some cuts to be made here.
Well, we did get a little bit of everything as far as mana fixing goes. Or the threats are hunt every corner. That's that's a lot of fixing. We might even be able to get away with not needing to play that. We'll have the two black cards. We'll have three black sources. And then some. Crypts. Kaito. We should be able to get that going. Like Cathartic, Flesh Burrower is good, Manifest Dread is good, Cursed Windbreaker is great, those are great. And we might just want this to be a 3-2 flying with Flash and not have to really counter what's up, whatever's going on, we'll have to see. I don't want the Long Neck, Your Delirium Mana Fixing. I don't think we'll need the survivor. Overlord will be great. Crypt will trigger with chandelier, right? Chandelier's looking better and better in here. Rats around every corner. Jam is like a three or a six. We got the beaters for sure. So I probably don't need the bestie. And honestly, I'm kind of not liking the counter spell at this point. It's five, seven, eight, nine, sixteen lands. I think that's fine with all of our mana fixing. Manifest Dread, we can afford to make a couple of lands into 2-2 two, two creatures. Yeah, we'll give this a shot. This looks decent. It's a little slow, but we can keep. Just turn one tapped. We've got this potentially if we need it. Oh yeah, definitely want to do that. We don't we don't need this going crazy on me while I'm being slow. Plains, forest, so we're not worried, we're just gonna ramp. Get our one swamp. around every corner and we get to manifest uh, I mean we definitely put you down it's a shame we're not gonna get the thing but we're gonna get to impending you that's silly or we just skip the impending I'm gonna flip them up anthropod what are you breaking fine. That is a fine. Um, let's 
turn you face up and attack. Um, we discard a lot of lands. Flash Brewer. That's fine. Under the skin. We'll manifest you. We'll get you back. We'll play a tap land. One, two, three, four, five. So I can't do that, but we can just recast you. Let me draw two cards. Uh, we can. I'm just gonna discard the Windbreaker, I think, at this point. That's rough. Do you wanna fight my Death Touch? Oh, well, this, this went off crazy. Chandelier Defiled Crypt I think is going to be good. And this only triggers once each turn, but I can do this on my opponent's turn. Um, that's fine, I guess. I, I'm, I'm not going to draw lands the rest of this game the way we're playing, man. I'm just going to start drawing straight fire. Oh yeah, blow it up now. Do it. Stupid. Well, the damage is dull. It's too late. I don't want to take that damage. All right, what do we got? We got four, five, we got 10 mana. This costs five if I wanna do both. You cost six, but that first strike is gonna mess us. I can just return the Vesti to their hand though. That could be kind of fun. I can just also vanish it. I think that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna play the crypt. We're gonna attack with both. We're gonna get that damage in. And then... Yeah, we're just gonna vanish you. Well, you're all tapped out and you can't do anything about it. Uh, Kaito. Hello, friend. Oh, uh, I guess I should have done the thing, huh? That is okay. Um, Jitsu Kaido for the Burrower. 
I learned something Turn and this one face up. I've got this. Can unlock the room. Have a blocker. And I'll just stun the bestie. Control the fight. Control the outcome. Oh yeah, control the fight for sure. Thanks, Kaido. Boom. What a turn. <laughs> what a turn indeed. Oh man, this deck is silly strong. <laughs> I didn't think it would work this good. Um, this one also seems like something I kind of want to jam in there all of a sudden. Gotta put another swamp in, take an island out. No, I'll take a forest out. That's seven, that's seven, that's four. Yeah, just this one more big beater in there. That, that worked out way better than I thought it was going to. I mean, it is tempting, but it's all blue. <laughs> like, if this was any other color cycler, I think I got a mulligan this. This is fine. About as good as it's gonna get. Boo. That's what I'm supposed to do. Followed by a three one. Let's let's be aggro. Okay, not a whole lot I can do about it. Ho oh, ho ho, that's a good reanimator target. That is a very good reanimator target. I think we manifest here. Boo! I wanted that. I think we're gonna spin that one as well. Um, 
play another. Um, that's getting back the ward one. We can cast that next turn, and then we can also underskin and manifest dread. And get back threats around every corner. Yeah, the land cyclers are great. Like, I think two four fours. That's fine. My six five doesn't care. hit the seventh mana to kind of be able to pop off cast this and that next turn cool snatcher now we just got to play the left or right game is it the left one or the right one I mean you can do that too I'm alright with that. It's gonna leave my graveyard and I still have a blocker. Uh, I'll take eight. That's fine. Do it that way now? Or do I want to pull that back? Manifest dread you. Yeah, I think I do just want that back, don't I? I want to take a body this turn. do but it's what we're doing target creature can't be blocked draw a card no I think I saved that See your white mana for your reanimation spells. <laughs> yeah. Like white, white. There's, there's no planes. <laughs> yeah, neither do they. <laughs> uh, luckily, that's not a problem I'm having. <laughs>
Nah, I think I want that held back. I mean, if they can kill it, they can kill it. But I would really like to see that chandelier now, just being able to have a 4-4 flying that makes a 2-2 demon every turn is going to be sweet. Let's step touch. Surprise. Well, that's not what I wanted. All these cards to draw, and you're still giving me lands. That's how it would be. That was a good game. I probably could have blocked and saved myself for one more turn, but... I don't know. It felt like drawing that extra land of that turn was just the nail in the coffin, you know? Like, three turns of lands in a row just was always bad. That's why that threats around every corner is so good. It just thins the deck so quick. I mean, it's playable. It's not the best looking, but it is playable. Oh, dog, surveil is something good. Oh, we can't cast it, so it goes away. Where were you last game, huh? And we're back up against the reanimator deck. That's fun. I mean, yes, but no. Please activate it and swing. I think that's a game we just lost. That's fun. Right, 
We're back where we started. So much for uh, ranking up. <laughs> And that first game was so good. On it goes first, we keep this. That's because I put the Swamp Cycler in. Might not be wrong. I mean, if we're not doing anything this turn anyway, huh? Do we Forest Cycle this turn? Do I manifest dread? I think I wait until I have threats around every corner to manifest. So a little forest cycle. Maybe cursed windbreaker threats. Seems great. One, two, two, flying land for three. Let's go. actually put a creature in that's cool go get a swamp that's even better Good. Look we'll at the other swamp. Just to have them do no attacks. That's fine. You're smart, you get rid of parting. Come on. All right. Yep, swing. 
You're stupid. Let's rush into combat. And then read my cards. <laughs> Do the burrow here. Oh, we can part this. One, two, three, four cards back. Yes. You want to trade? <laughs> I wouldn't have traded if I was you, but I'll take it. Oh, you haven't even seen the true power of my deck, Bleez. Come on, man. Yeah, that's cool. Get rid of it. Like the three four. So I think we're just gonna hard cast Taito. And we're gonna stun it. And I can attack in. Discard the land. Skin, we manifest the Dagger Maw and we get back the Defiled Crypt. Um, sure, an island into play. You think you can outvalue me, opponent, do you? I'm willing to give you the shot. I kind of feel the same way when somebody resolves a Kaito against me, too. <laughs> he is beatable. You can kill him on my... Well, he's kind of hard to kill as a 3-4 on my turn or whatever, especially if he starts pumping himself. But you can still attack him on your turn and deal damage to the Planeswalker. Like, it is possible. Are you a 2-drop? You're a 3-drop. Oof. 
this was a two drop, this would be fine, but it's not. I need to click the mulligan button as much as I don't want to. That is so much better. I'm gonna put Glimmer Burst back. Alright, let's rank up. Manifest. Ah, uh, such a good card. Alright. Not really a fan of that. Uh, let's just go get the second swamp to have it, I guess. Stupid twitching doll. This thing is absurdly strong. Oh, wow. That's cool. I guess I do get one turn where that turns off and it's a creature. It doesn't get to swing immediately. But still. card. That could have been a better card for sure. Yeah, I see it. I'm not scared. Beginning of your second main phase, that's fine. You're recasting that this turn. Or are you? So what else you got? That's fine, I want that, I think. Um, graveyard, the land. And then we can parting you and get back you, you, 
And these two. Well, we can swing in. Ugh. And then I have six mana, but I need another green in order to flip my face down card, which kind of sucks. If I would have taken the sorcery and left it in the uh, the instant, we would have had delirium. Well, we have it now. Oh, that's pretty good. Pretty good. I meant to cast that as a creature. I don't know why I'm pending that. That was a misplay. I feel like I'm used to the adventure side of cards coming up on the left and the physical card being on the right, so to have the physical on the left and the ability on the right has been throwing me. I've done that several times now where I've misclicked the impending instead of just casting the creature like I should have. I do like that the enchantment also has flying. It just there's a flying enchantment on my board. Cool. I like that. Do I even have anything worth getting back? Yeah, we do. We've got the snapper worth getting back. I think we wait a turn. Yeah, that was definitely a misplay on my part. If you think I won't trade after that, you're wrong. <laughs> uh, cool. So what if I do this?
It's half your life total. You can block now, you can block next turn. Doesn't matter to me. Uh-huh. Just still one short. Okay, cool. Cool. <laughs> hey, we ranked up. We did it. We made it to Platinum. That means I get both cosmetic rewards this season. Heck yes. Right? That's what that means? Platinum rewards. Yeah, both cosmetics. Yes, we like this. Turn one. Let's turn two. Is this turn two or do I manifest? I don't really want to cast that on turn three if I don't have to. I'd like to save those. Maybe I just manifest here. Um, dog, just because I can actually flip it. Yes, that's why we keep under the skin. Make sure we get that back. Oh man, erotic apparition. Oh, I need one more for that. Interesting. that resolve and do nothing. Yeah, that's a Kaito. No, I want that. So I think what we do here Gonna Yeah, we're gonna spectral snatcher get the other swamp. We'll go attack with the flyer. Oh, I needed to play my land. God damn it.
Never mind, I'm bad. I was gonna bounce this back to my hand and have Kaido on the field. Ah, uh, misplay after misplay. I went for the land to play the land, good sir. That's why you put it in your hand. Ah, uh, missed a step there. Got ahead of myself. <laughs> Get your two damage in, that's fine. Why do you insist on tapping my double black every time I cast this card? Every time I cast this card, you pay for the four with both my black mana. Every time. Every time. Ah! Auto Tapper and Defiled Crypt is just a bad combo. Noted. What is this? Land, what are you? Dog. Um. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we can do... That's so bad. Do I want the draw discard? I think I do. Two more flying attacks. I'm just playing defense at this point.
be four. Let's see what you got, opponent. You have a glimmer burst, uh huh. You want to trade two twos? <laughs> yup, I I definitely think that this deck type that we are playing is probably going to be my my favorite deck type to play in this set is going to be manifest dread reanimator like i get to manifest things i gotta put creatures on the field or in the graveyard like it's gonna be wild when i'm putting spells and doing things it does seem very me like a little slow, a little controlly, really grindy, just manifest tutus, all kinds of crazy Oh, it's so bad. But it works because I can get my fourth land for the threats around every corner to fix for black. Uh, we just have to hope we draw something to do in the next two turns or it might be a quick game for opponent. Um... Snapper and then unable to scream. Yeah, we can't let that ability stick around. Yeah, scream at first. The only downside is if we do draw a good three drop play, now we're off curve from playing it. does it when it enters so I guess we'll watchdog here that does set us up next turn we can snapper and flip the watchdog if we feel it's necessary yeah let's just do that He's fine. You pump, you're getting in for one. Yeah, you're getting in for one. Trade you my dog for your evil doll any day. Um, Honestly, I think I bin that. Yeah. Yep. Graveyard. No, not under the skin. Uh, threats around every corner. Yeah, Dagger Maw. Get my swamp.
Just got to buy myself time till I can get a big butt on the field and then I'm good. Like that. That's the first thing they've played that I'm like, eh. I could deal without. You want it? You want an impulse draw? I'll let you impulse draw. Get your land. Play it. You're welcome. the monkey back really all right I did kill that we did kill that that is definitely a thing I did mm -hmm. I remember now I remember now um We play Kaito, he dies. That's unfortunate. Well, I guess we go under the skin. What do I get back here? I did get back the watchdog is just something to play. Yeah, I think I just get back the watchdog as something to play. Let me get both swamps down. We've got six mana. We're at that point. We don't need that. That's fine. No attacks. So the dogs back out as a deterrent for them to not attack. Although giving the 1-1 one, one counter might encourage that. But Meglinoth is flippable next turn. Chandelier is castable. There's that plus three plus zero for a mountain spell. So I don't trust Norn. Scorching dragon fire, that's cool. And then we trade. Mm -hmm. Another under the skin. I think we just... Turn face up and swing. Beat my 5-7. Hello, how goes it? We ranked up. We made it to platinum. This deck is currently like 3-2, and 4-2, and two, somewhere in that ballpark. Unfortunately, I do think it is just the one draft a day since I've only got about 45 minutes left before work. So we're probably just going to finish this one out. Six. Yeah, that's fine. Also, help what? What do you need help with? A 
Or is that supposed to be hello? <laughs> no, my chandelier. Dread. Oh, it's the Overlord. And then we gotta go mana ramp. Get a green. Attack in for the five. Oh, I'm killing FOMO first, for sure. <laughs> oh, opponent. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Ooh, are you going to be able to kill it before I get to use it? You are. Good for you. So I think now is the turn that we just rub it in. So we go, I've got Kaito. And that can't attack. Control the fight. Control the outcome. And then I think we go under the skin. Get back the overlord. Gonna be really rough coming back from this. Cheerleader or not. When this dies, I get something, right? Lose the battlefield. The exiled code manifests dread. Okay, that's fine. Kaito! I fucked up my bed. I forgot about the hover ship. I need more intel. My opponent is playing good. Alright, well, we need to cast the flood pits this time. Yeah, there it is. This is what we've been looking for. What do I discard here? I think I discard Glimmer Burst. Sewer, so it's one, two, three, four, five. So I can't cast that. But we can not let the auto tapper get me. Right, my opponent is playing good. That's not supposed to happen, just to me. I slowed them down. 
Um, did we lose all three of our shifting cards? Because we got under the skin, under the skin, manifest red. No, I can still cathartic. So. We, we can play a long game here. And if they think they're going to double block the overlord, they've, they've got another thing coming. Let's see. What do we got? We got 10 mana, so I can cast one or the other of these and a vanish from sight. I mean, it's expected. We did rank up into platinum, so now everybody is a tryhard, even though we still have a diamond rank to go. I don't care about your cheerleader. That is a huge trade for me. I will take that. So good. Another vanish from sight, huh? There's no mana left to get out of the deck. We know that much. I think it's the Windbreaker? That doesn't feel right. But that's what I got to discard, huh? Yeah, that's fine. I have decked myself. This is not fine. Well then, I think Kaito. Um, yeah, take action. Give me my cards back. And then we play a big beater. <laughs> All right, well. I knew this was uh, a thing that could happen. Having that Windbreaker would be super sweet. Oh, why did I think that had sneaky reach?
Do it. I will kill the clown. Yeah, well, I like that order actually. Clown, face down card, and then the living phone. That's fine. Uh oh, I could vanish. I should have vanished. Bad plays. Gonna get me killed. No, nah, there's enough Kaito and Wanderer on both of these cards that I'll, I'll be fine. <laughs> really? This is close. Okay. You are brave. When it enters or attacks, draw two cards, then discard a card. So I really don't actually want that. That will kill me. Right? I'm just playing defensively. Cool, I have to survive for four turns? I'm no longer the beatdown. There's no reason to be trying, you know? Uh, I didn't have any cards left to draw, so Enter the Enigma was also dangerous there. But we did it with an empty deck. Lethal. Woo! That's, that's five wins, two losses. The stack's doing it. Hopefully this next game doesn't take too long. <laughs> what the actual fuck? <laughs> I play magic. Uh, this is perfect. So we get to go two, three, four and curve out. Oh, hold on to a vanish from sight. Thank you, Arena, for finally setting me up. Yeah, because you search for a basic, so we're going to go watchdog. Um, honestly, I'm going to get rid of it. We, we've got so much mana fixing all of a sudden. We're going to be good. We're going to be good. Yeah, there's the cadaver lab. Oh, we are set up to win this game. Let's go! Give me a swamp. Yeah, this is so good. I'm gonna go swamp, threats around every corner. We'll manifest a dread. Oh man, we have to do the flesh burrow or Kaido goes away, that's fine. We'll get the other swamp. We'll swing. 
We gotta get him back with the under the skin, so I'm not too worried about it. All right. Forget it always double taps my swamps. <laughs> I mean, if you're not gonna do anything till turn five, I think I just win anyway, opponent. That is game, right? We just unnerving grass for their one creature and we win. Stop forgetting auto tapper is bad. <laughs> I just need to curve out, that's all, you know? Turn three, mana ramp, turn four, mana ramp, turn five, mana ramp, and then I'm just casting everything. That's that's it. That was, that was a super fast win. I want that exact same opening hand. <laughs> Dog centipede threats. Come on. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Final boss. <laughs> Manifest reanimator is, is stupid good. I mean, we're close. We are close. Do we cycle the Megalodon? Yeah, we cycle the Megalodon. I'm just gonna do it now. Get those TVs out of my face. That's a good card. No, that spam blocked. All right, spam blocked. Do this. We got double blue. We've got double green. Let's get the double black. Like that. All right, we don't need that much mana. I mean, I would rather get it out with abilities and things than like this. just setting up Defiled Crypt this turn? This feels so wrong. Yeah, it looks like that's what I'm doing. Yeah, this, this set is very three color friendly. Got uh, like Jessica room enchantments. Uh, there's like a Grixis rooms deck. Um, it looks like Sultai is in Manifest Recursion. I know there's an Abzan Survivors Recursion deck. There's 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 a lot of stuff. It's like base two colors splash a third. You know, and like I said, if I have the mana fixing, it's it's not a problem at all. It's it's when you don't have the mana fixing that it just kind of sucks. Um, right now, we're having the opposite problem where all we're getting is my lands, and that is also no good, so... No, I won't. 
want my shark back. I think we also want to get rid of that and manifest. That's fine. We'll get the tunnel surveyor, throw that away. So I got a land and a sorcery in there now. We can get a creature in if we want. We're close to delirium. Um, potentially, man. Limited lately, like, has been great. There's not really any unplayable cards, quote unquote. Like, every card is very, very playable. If you think I won't trade, you are crazy. My two twos are far more repeatable than you two, your two twos are, I guarantee it. I mean, they definitely did get some of the better Manifest Dread cards compared to me. Ooh, had to throw the doll away? I would have manifested that. Like, what did you manifest over the doll? That is concerning. And then we drew more lands. So if we can survive this, like, I'll be sad, but drawing this many lands is the death of you unlimited. Two, four, six, nine, ten of my 16 lands. So there's only six lands left in the deck. That might as well be a fucking land. Jesus. it matters I'm pretty sure we've lost but six and three is not bad this was a good run If opponent wants to give me a chance, I'm going to take it. Cool Primo. Yep. I feel like every time Zamon plays Primo, it's just game over before it happens. Like, so, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I got one, two, three, four, five, six. I got more lands than I got actual cards to play. An opponent just got to keep popping off because they actually got cards to play. That's that's so cool. I like losing magic games because I drew nothing but lands. Like I only have 16 in the deck. I'm even running a low number of lands because I go find them. 
so efficiently in this deck. Wow, that is frustrating. Like, it's a positive game, don't get me wrong, but this deck was super sweet. It was just the mana fixing in it was there. Like, all of that, just supporting the mana was amazing. But Defiled Crypt is good. Under the Skin is really good. Those two together just kind of won me the game, being able to recur my threats. It was a fun deck. The threats around every corner should be picked pretty early. Like, if you see this, you are in a manifested deck. You want to be casting manifest cards. This thing is insane. Just manifest dread and go mana ramp. That's that's three card actions off of one one go, you know, like getting that to hit, you can manifest dread, you get to go mana ramp and you throw the extra card after you manifest into your graveyard. So you make a two two, put a card in the graveyard for delirium or recursion, and get to mana ramp all in like one card for four mana. This thing is busted. I can't believe I got one as late as I did. Kaito is definitely worth splashing, but he can be hard to get down. If you can get him down, though, you win games. All right, let's claim our spoils. I guess we, we earned 300 gems on that run, so it's gem positive. We, we didn't lose out. And then the next one we do, we can do on gold credit even. Um, I had, what we got? We got 15 minutes. We got 15 minutes. Let's see if I can remember. The deck here it is do, 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 do. Insidious Roots. Um, what do I want? What do I want? Where are you guys? You are in here somewhere. Um, oh, no, that's caps. Can you find, yeah, the snarling gorehounds, crazy good. We want Tyvar. We want say it. Say its name. What is your name? Your name is Altanak. I'll get you in there. Um, what else, what else? Um, we need Urborg, we possessions, we want over, Overlord, yeah, Overlords. Mm, green, black, lands. Blooming Marsh is great. Mm, my wastes. Only got one surveil land. Well, that's unfortunate. That seems okay. What 
else am I missing here? There's some, some obvious ones that are supposed to be jumping out to me. Goofy little one drops. I want the drinker. Yeah, the vein drinker. We want the rebel. Oh, what are you? Nope, you're not any of those things. Where you you collect evidence? Right. Oh, your your name is Maverick. That's what it is, Maverick. No, what is your name? Yeah, Maverick. I'm just bad at spelling. Perfect. Drinker, Gorehound, Possession, Maverick, say its name, Roots, Tyvar. Oh man, I feel like I'm missing something like very, very obvious for this deck. Something that just makes it go. How could I forget the new brood spinners? It's the brood spinners. What else am I missing in here? What else am I missing? I don't think I'm really missing anything except for maybe a stupid. Haste enabler, but I don't think there's any way to go haste in these colors. I'm gonna have to splash red, and I don't want to mess with the mana base. This is for standard. This is for standard. I think I'm just gonna add in the I'm missing one drops here. Why can't I go? more drinkers like why can't i add cards to my deck arena that is so bad i have to click them through here that's that's not annoying at all no not mabber come on mabber maverick And we'll just add in, oh my god, say its name. I'm done. So we're not actually going to play anybody. I'm just going to throw this in a bot match real quick. Um, root 2. No, we're done editing. We want to play Sparky real quick. <laughs> would get three say its name in a roots like if this was a forest we might actually keep this and play this that's that's crazy all right that definitely looks a lot better we'll keep this and get rid of the drinker 
So now we can Gorehound. Spinner. Yeah, that's fine. We'll get the Surveil 3 here. Uh, get out of here. That's fine. So the, the problem I have with this deck, with the combo that it, it kind of plays out, is there's no haste. There is the ability to produce red mana in the deck. Oh, of course, the card I want is gone now. Like, stupid. All right, go that way. Surveil you. Actually, we're going to leave you on top. Yeah, I mean, but I know it functions. Like, I'm not really going to lose against Sparky. I just kind of wanted to show off the, the power of what this thing is capable of. This is very silly to me. Yep. Surveil, surveil. Urborg repossession. Da -da -da. Return a permanent. So that's good. Return a non-avatar creature or a planeswalker from a graveyard to my hand. So yeah, we want we want all of that. We we are done doing the thing for this turn. There's that second wind. Um. No, that's fine actually. Gorehound can go. You you won't block it. End turn. Yeah, Maverick's fine to get back, but we really want roots. No attacks. Alright, so roots. Overlord. Oh no, I can't cast it, cast it. I want to impending it. Hey, why can't I do the thing? Rally, my friend. Alright, we're gonna go crazy. Rolling's gone. Forest is gone. Make a creature. Yep, and then we can surveil some more. Hey, Roots is good. Let's keep Roots on top. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna mill it away, huh? It doesn't really matter. I should have seen that coming. Uh, no, Altanak, you can stay in the grave. That's fine. So now we can kind of go off a little bit, potentially. Oh no, I'm out of mana now. That was my last mana. That's fine. I really want to get more of these 1-1s one into my graveyard. I don't want them out on the field. We're supposed to be trading the whole game. But Sparky's not playing, right? That's fine. Oh, another Roots. How kind. Do we have any way to start going off, though? I guess I have to get the Gorehound triggers to do it. Yeah, it's high bar, unfortunately. You're not going to get me there. You're not going to get me there. Wow, of course I want to show the combo of the deck off, and we're not going to get to do the thing. Oh, 
Ready for round two. Go Overlord and Spinner, I guess. But the idea is you're just going to keep throwing all kinds of stuff into the graveyard. It doesn't really matter. I'm trying to get as many of the little guys out as I can and having them hit the graveyard like that is actually better because it pumps all of our mana. And once we have two roots, we actually do one mana to make two creatures and it is amazing. The say its name thing here is also really good in our deck because it does the mill and gets the trigger and gets creatures back. But once you have three, you can cast and exile two <laughs> and go pull a creature out of your graveyard and just drop the 9-9 nine nine. and then he's really fun to start pumping a little bit with some of these triggers out of the graveyard uh, uh, yeah we want to throw you away uh, possession's fine but this is one of those I could easily deck myself if I'm not uh, careful with it you know kind of decks but the Brood Spinners activating their ability and tapping everything down in order to make a bunch of creatures will get me all of my Surveil Triggers. And then those creatures with Tyvar out also will cast mana. No, we're just going to deck ourselves. We'll let Sparky win this one. That's fine. So, like I said, once this deck gets going, if it combos correctly, all I'm really missing is some sort of haste enabler. So I've been trying to figure out how to get a red creature into this deck that's worth getting in here. Um, this does give me mana of any color, but that sometimes doesn't matter. But yeah, we were going to deck ourselves this turn. We have nothing left to survey, all right? Yeah, we're done already. That's funny. So, just a silly thing you can do with this deck. So, but again, if I had a way to get all of these as like 1-1 one, one triggers, part of me wants to throw that room in here for four mana. Every time I pull a creature out with roots, I get a 2-2 two, two as well. But again, the issue is, is I need a haste enabler, so I'm looking... I don't know, part of me wants to do... It's a three-drop creature that gives you all your creatures plus one, plus zero, and haste. That would be really fun to kind of get it out and going, but... This one's fun because you mill and then you get to return something from your graveyard to your hand, which will also give you your triggers. And you just kind of keep it going and keep it going. And honestly, most people quit at this point. They're like, yeah, I've seen enough. I don't need to see any more of your stupid triggers hit the field and continue to do the thing. Like, all right, well, with that, then we're going to untap. What's the biggest one? A 16, 17? Man. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> there we go. Let's make a few more. This is silly. And this was just kind of one turn of comboing off. I think if I had haste, any one of these big beater boys would just win the game. So this is kind of a big beater with trample. You just make a big board, and if your opponent doesn't have a board wipe, you can go. But I want to give haste in here. And that's, that's, that's where I'm sitting right now.
No, don't view the battlefield. And if we look... No, no. Where's where's my decks? Not lizards, roots. This is the card that I'm thinking. Just because even if it dies, it continues to sit out and it pumps. Plus two, plus zero in haste. I only have one copy though. Or I don't even have one copy. I have no copies. So I need to get three more rares for that. And I think in order to make it work, I need to get eight of the rare red lands just as an in case because I don't necessarily want to be using up all of my mana uh, it only makes five creatures because it does the delirium based on the number of card types in my graveyard so I, I don't have an instant and I don't have an artifact in that deck where in this deck I do have an artifact with the bestie that's what I was missing was the beastie so you get, you know, these guys for the delirium effect and the milling kind of going. The brood spinners will then be able to make, I think, eight. Because you have the... You have sorcery, sorcery. Do we have an instant? I don't think we have an instant. So I might find a way to get an instant in here too. But we have enchantments, we have creatures, we have enchantment creatures, so that all kind of happens. The lands will be in the graveyard, like, you really only need two mana and a roots in play, and you can combo off like I did that last turn. Just absolutely crazy, like, and again, if your opponent doesn't have an immediate board wipe to stop you, then you're set up to go in and, and win. Yeah, there's a, it's a little bit delirium-based. It doesn't say delirium on it, but it's uh, equal to the number of card types in your graveyard. Um, yeah, battles are still standard legal, absolutely. But I don't think there's one that gives haste. Standard and legal. I knew what you meant. Um, we don't want to battle. We want invasion. Like the black invasions, the red invasions. Like, yeah, these are still legal. Well, again, I don't know which one I would want for this deck. I don't think it really is going to help us out too much with any of them. But they're, they're here for sure. All that's going to do is help the spinner. The spinner doesn't really matter. The spinner's just nice because it, it's a Tyvar trigger. So we can pull it back and it'll make a bunch of little guys. Honestly, this isn't important to the deck. I, I could probably cut spinner and still be okay. But the this Insidious Roots is, is key. Like to the point I'm thinking of doing the... Uh, Oh man, what is it called? It is black, it costs two mana. I don't know if I have it collected. It's from Duskmorn. Uh, no, I can filter even further in that. I know it's rare, I think. It might be mythic. Yeah, the demonic console. I think being able to search for a demon card, like there's no demons for me to search for. So that's that's kind of unfortunate, like not really a big deal. But if we can hit Delirium, then I can search for Roots. But I don't know that I want this as my extra out for Roots. I'm thinking I might do more like milling returning things if I can figure out a way to do a permanent return. That uh, the Manifest Dread card that I've been playing, that returns thing has been really good. All right, I needed to stop playing five minutes ago and get going, so thanks for hanging out. We'll catch you guys probably tomorrow for a surprise stream just so I can get a couple more drafts in before my uh, RCQ in on Sunday. 
Take it easy. You might see me tomorrow.